Oh my gosh. I just dripped some on myself. That's how good it was. Today we have the battle of the amped up burger place. In our first corner we have Shake Shack. And in our second corner we have Burger Fi. We're gonna put these two competitors head to head. I'm gonna order the exact same meal at both restaurants, see how they compare. I'm really excited about this one, so make sure you stay tuned to the entire video to see who wins this burger battle. I waited a really long time to get my food, which was kind of disappointing. I only had two people in front of me and their orders were really small. I think one person ordered a milkshake, the other person ordered one hamburger. I waited at least 20, 25 minutes for my order. And as you know, I ordered a cheeseburger and fries. Very simple. I was like, man, this, this better be really awesome. This better be really good if I'm waiting this long. Let's get into these crinkle cut fries. They're looking pretty tasty. Okay, going for this fried taste test. Nice and crispy. Fluffy on the inside, crispy on the outside. That's a pretty good fry. If I got some fries from the grocery store, put them in a fryer, that's what I think they would taste like. They were just, they were good. They were like middle of the road, good french fries. We're getting into the Shake Shack burger now. This is a single cheeseburger. Take a look at that. There we go. Kind of underwhelmed. A little bit underwhelmed by this burger. I feel like for the price of this cheeseburger I should have at least gotten lettuce and tomato. This cheeseburger let me down. I first of all was not expecting it to just literally be beef and cheese. I thought that I would get like at least lettuce and tomato on my on my cheeseburger here. And I know I'm about to offend some very loyal Shake Shack fans because I know these Shake Shack fans are like die hard, but I was not impressed. I don't know if it was the location where I visited, this the University City location in Philadelphia. It was a far cry from anything that, you know, started in Madison Square Park in New York City where I would wait, you know, two hours to get a, a Shake Shack burger. This was very underwhelming. The bun was like soggy. It didn't hold up its shape when, you know, when you do the smush down test, it doesn't like it kind of disintegrated into nothing. I thought it was nothing really to write home about. I wasn't too excited about this Shake Shack burger. I, I wanted to be, I wanted to be like, yeah, Shake Shack, this tastes really good. So I was kind of disappointed in the Shake Shack burger. <laughs> want to let you know the service here was really really good they got my order out really fast um, I did have a couple people ahead of me just like I did at Shake Shack the order was out in I would say less than five minutes it was very quick the ambiance I thought of the restaurant was really cool it has a really cool bar set up on the side and the decor I thought was really inviting and warm and really trendy and hip. Hey, I'm here at Burger Fi in Philadelphia and I'm very excited to try their hands cut fries. Look how awesome they look. All right, here comes the fry taste test. Here we go. It's crispy, it's crunchy, it's nice and fluffy on the inside, salted the perfect amount. This fry is amazing and you can tell that it's hand cut. These are A plus french fries. Okay, so this is the cheeseburger at Burger Fi. First of all, look how cool it is. They branded their cheeseburger, which is all kinds of awesome. And look at that. That is everything you want a cheeseburger to be. Yes. Let's get into this. Mmm. This is so good. 
very, very pleasantly surprised on this cheeseburger. It had a nice special sauce mayo ketchup vibe going on. I got a huge slice of tomato and lettuce on my cheeseburger. The bun I thought was super cool. They brand, literally brand, each bun with their logo. The taste of this burger was phenomenal. It passed the, the smush test. When you smush it down, it doesn't disintegrate. The brioche bun really holds up well against the juices of the beef and the cheese. This burger was so tasty. Okay, so take a look at this CEO burger. We have Wagyu beef, okay, which you never find at a burger joint. I could not resist. I saw this on the menu. I said, oh my gosh, it looks so delicious. Here we go, we gotta go in for the taste test. Oh my god. This is the best burger I've ever had. You have to try the CEO burger. I have to jog probably about 10 miles, but it's worth it. Yes, I did order one extra burger from BurgerFi, but it was so worth it. This CEO burger was unlike any burger I've ever tasted in my life, which is a very bold statement. This Wagyu beef combination with the cheese, the caramelized onions, this CEO burger is just 100% amazing. I know I didn't compare it exactly to a Shake Shack burger, but I didn't see anything comparable to it on a Shake Shack menu. I just saw this burger and I thought, wow, I need to have that burger right now. <laughs> and the winner is Burger Fi! Congratulations Burger Fi, you've won this battle. Everything that I had at Burger Fi was amazing. Tasted really good, the service was excellent. Even all the way down to the ambiance, I thought this restaurant killed it. I know I'm gonna get a lot of flack from some Shake Shack fans. I know I'm gonna get some bad comments <laughs> on this video because Shake Shack fans are very loyal, which I respect. I respect your loyalty, but I think for me, my honest opinion of a comparison of a cheeseburger and fries that you would get at Shake Shack versus Burger Fi. Burger Fi totally blew them out of the water. They are the true definition of amped up burgers. I'm kind of hesitant to say this, but let me know what you think. I know I'm going to get a lot of like <laughs> controversial comments, but again, that's why I love to make these battles. I love to hear from you. Whether you agree with me, whether you disagree with me, it's all good because at the end of the day, we're talking about burgers. We're not talking politics or anything, <laughs> so it's okay. It's just burgers. Make sure you subscribe to this channel. If you haven't already, I upload new episodes every Sunday. Thanks again so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Oh, <laughs>